Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Gamerman, and welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. You want to know something? One, I haven't taken my allergy medicine, so this is going to be a fun fucking recording. But two, <clears throat> I've noticed something. I either call myself Gamerman or Gamer, but never call myself the only Gamerman, which is my YouTube channel name. Could my YouTube channel name be too long? I don't know, but we're going to continue. You see, it's shit like that that makes me, like, <laughs> hate myself sometimes. I, like, think about the little things way too much. But, um, we're here with another episode of Detroit Become Human. Um, and I can't be more excited. And not only that, guys, but I just woke up less than an hour ago, so if I sound all nasally... It's probably because I, I slept with my mouth open the whole night. Like, I'm just kidding. I don't really snore. But anyway, here we are. Rose's Farm. I think that's what that said. Here we are with Kara. Kara. This is the person that's going to help us cross the border. Find help. Check the backyard. Well, let's see if there's anything over here first. Nothing. Okay. <coughs> Hello, sir. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Really now? Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. At first, I thought that Echo was my headset, but no, that's just the game. That's very realistic. I like that. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. Right about that. We do Come not on. have a choice at all. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I don't know if I trust this guy. He told me to go away. Take me up there and kill me. Let's go. <clears throat> All righty, Alice. Nice bed just for you. I'm glad you're not pissed off at me because of the car incident. Let's go ahead and get you undressed. She looks to be maybe four, maybe. She can't do this shit on her own. I mean, I am a caretaker. I really need to stop doing that shit. Like, it makes me come off as a dick. I'm not, I promise. But at four years old, I was taking off my diaper and shit and running naked around the house. Did I say that out loud? I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Explain. Reassure. Explain. 
Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. You're dang right. Why do you hear and say this? <clears throat> didn't do anything wrong. It's a misunderstanding. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They see we're not bad. Well, one rotten apple spoils the rest. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. Alrighty. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Somebody knocked on my door. Sorry, y'all. I'll stay with her a while. I almost missed that kiss goodnight option. I would have been pissed. But, um... Luther, my man, you've done more than enough to take care of her. I appreciate it. Let's go downstairs and talk with Rose. But first, let's explore our surroundings. Ooh, the snow. That's something I forgot to mention last episode. Um, remember when I kept bitching about how it was raining all the time? Well, it's snow now, so I ain't bitching no more. That's if you'd even call me bitching. Complaining? I'm just your average Detroit citizen. All it is is just clouds and rain for most part of the year, and then afterwards, it's just... Wait, what am I doing? Damn. But yeah, most of the time it's just rain. And Kara. And then like one this month my son Adam? of the year's like sun. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Okay. <clears throat> so are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Cautious or sincere? Well, I feel like we can trust them, so I'll go ahead and be sincere. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Um... You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. <coughs> Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. When you really think about it, what Kara, and, or Kara, depending, did wasn't bad. We're not the first ones to come here. In this day and age. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Uh, no choice. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. 
Rose, come quickly. Oh. Check what's going on. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Oh, man. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Maybe if they went to Jericho. Let's let them be. There's another RA9 message over there. RA9 yeah, is the nice. way it said. You're done. You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Look at the LED. Come on, Alice. It turned blue. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. But it said RA9 on that. You all right, Kara? Wall. Yes. I'm fine. She don't know what happened, so that's safe in my book. She's too young to process what she was looking at there. Hopefully. You know? So that's why I let her stay, you know? I can't be overprotective. I mean, obviously, since the, can't hide me. the car Not incident. What those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. <coughs> Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? Discipline. We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Holy shit, dude. Fucking magazine. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight. <coughs> Great. You stay here. I won't be long. Yep, there's the magazine. I'm not reading you. It's not to understand. So it must be... Wait, they got their stockings up, so like... Oh, and they got their Christmas tree up too. It ain't December, is it? Last time I looked, it was like November. Anyway. Oh, this must have been Adam's father. Something over here. Oh! Blue blood pouches.
Hey Adam, how you doing? Oh, TV, public opinion. TV, 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 TV. TV. There is widespread shock following the Android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Nothing? Seriously? Really? Also, they were... I mean... Demands? Uh, I wouldn't say demands. Well... Requests, maybe? I have no idea. Check in on Alice. Uh-oh. The police! It's the police! Oh, shit. Really? What are we Open door. Do? Find evidence of deviants. Well, there was one right over here. And then the blue blood pouches. Um. I knew this was gonna happen. Two left. Uh, uh, right here. Hide evidence. Uh, close the door. Close the door. Can I close the door? Hide androids. Yeah. That should be all of them. Yeah, that's it. Open door. No evidence left. Oh shit! Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. Uh oh. All this deviant business going on. You can't be too careful. They had to hide. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, go right ahead. Are you Badly. kidding me? Of course. Alice is gonna make some fucking noise. I swear to God, if she does, I'm literally ending the gameplay. I didn't hide them. Why am I responsible for them? They're their own people. Would you like a cup of coffee? That's bullshit. I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? 25% suspicion level. No. No, nothing in particular. What are y'all doing in there? Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Oh, I did that. Fuck you yeah. Have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. I just saved my ass. Cup of Joe here for you, sir. Oh, perfect. Zero percent. Perfect. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. You're so fucking obvious, dude. Holy crap. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Are you serious? Is somebody else in the house? 
No, it's the wind. A draft. It must be a draft. I probably left a window open somewhere. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. We did it! You fucking nervous wreck. You nearly got us caught. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Let's go. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Let's go! Fuck yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. We did that shit. <clears throat> What did that say? Take Adam... What now? Take Adam to lower tension. Talk to Adam to lower tension. Oops. Well, I mean... Can't do everything. Whoa! What the hell are you done? Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. Did that say violent? Yeah, to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. I agree. If dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. She wants Simon a fucking gave his life. android war. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! Is she a historian? Because she seems to talk about civil war a lot. What are we going to do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, oh. one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. No violence indeed. This is a night our people will remember. <clears throat> I've been waiting a long time for this. You really are bipolar. You just went from yelling at Josh to, I've been waiting for this. Mark, this way, quick! Okay, they're gone. Can you be any louder? There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Uh, I gotta avoid police. What is this? Grand Theft Auto? Bus! The store's over here. Is this the... Wait, no. This ain't the same place. I was gonna say, is this the same place as... Oh, uh, hello. Who are you? You are free. Oh, I gave him directions to Jericho. I could just do that? That's so cool, dude. <coughs> That's what we are to them. There's merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. It's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Gotta do this. Why with all the time limits? Damn. Secure the area. Get into the store. Okay. Well. Start here. You see the alarm system? Well, thanks for the lines, but I probably could have seen that. Once again, Found I'm it. playing on fucking non-experienced mode because of these stupid-ass controls. Where do we start? 
I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate. All the red line, baby. All the red line. Red line. Okay, we're going right over here. Yep, right here. Network access located. Convert them. Since I could just do that. Drop down. Hello, y'all. Don't mind me. You're free. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Holy shit, I really am RA9. What the fuck? I could just say you're free. R1. Inner loop created. I can just do that with my hand. Marcus, watch out. Uh, hi. There's a police drone. I need to get that fucker. Holy shit. Yeah, you're next on the nice list. Alright, where are you at? There you are, you son of a bitch. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Construct route. Okay. Just go in a circle. Find the right location. Drone can be reached from there. That's right by the car dealership. Well then. Now we gotta reconstruct. So we'll go up. Up. Um. Right here. Nope, wouldn't be too late. Then let's go to that location on the left here. Nope. That might be too late. Oh no, that would have been perfect! Sick! Alright, let's do it. Let's go! I, I gotta mash X, I bet you. I'm already mashing. Yeah, motherfucker! Got him. So fucking dope. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. <laughs> There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Alright. I can still scout the area. What did I miss? There's a whole heaping pile of stuff. What's the time? Got nine minutes. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. You'll soon be with us. Also, there's an android over there. I got plenty of time. To commemorate the invention of androids, we... Oh, boy. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Hey, 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 hey. Go to Jericho. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Nobody cares what you do. Just as long as you ain't bothering them. Scout the area. Scout the scout, 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 scout. What about here? Another, another dude. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. 
Hey, 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 convert. You are free. Let's go. Fuck the snow. Also, check around. Okay, so now all we got is this far end. Somebody in the android parking. Oh, there's more than one person. You are free. This is so cool. Holy crap. What's that right over there? Uh, check, 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 check. Anything else? There's that, and then there's that. What's over here? Look. Exactly what we need to run the store. Get into the store. Well, we need to block traffic, don't we? Steal the truck or block the road? Block the road. How would I do that? With the car, obviously, right? Wait a second. Oh, I bet you that's... What the hell's over here? How much time? 8 minutes, 13 seconds. Anything over here? No. Interesting enough. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. So yeah, let's go over here. Oh, there's an android. Perfect. Hey y'all, y'all wanna be free tonight? Marcus! Marcus, come look! I think that's what she's trying to get me to do, is block the road with that sign, maybe? It is a road work sign, after all. It's you! You deviant bastard! Oh, okay, we're actually... Whoa, we're fucking strong as hell. Oh, that's perfect. Road closed. There. Nobody should bother us now. We did that, so secure the area is complete. Now we gotta find a way to get that. Looks like the plaza's truck. secure. Now we can get inside the store. Yep. Okay, let's, do that. let's go get the truck. Oh what? What are we doing? Hells yeah. <coughs> okay. Okay, now I knew we're that in. was something. Let's get that truck out. As soon as I saw it. We're gonna have to fucking cut the Yep, knew it. There's that. So now that that's open, we gotta get the truck now, right? Yep, that's the only thing left. Unless what's that over there? Trash bag. Oh, wait. Hold it. There we go. Truck unlocked. Alarm neutralized. So there should be nothing standing Looks in our like way. Ready to make some noise. There's nothing standing in our way. I sure hope I didn't miss anything. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Oh shit. <laughs> so far so good. We did it. Oh my god, we actually did it. Gotta free as much people as you can. Uh, convert. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Next. Convert. actually so fucking cool. Oh my god. There's only one more now. 
over here. Oh, that's her! Your dream partner. With you okay? Let's get them out of here. I unlocked something by doing that. Simon! Simon! Oh my god, he's back! Talk to them. Oh, we're getting on the desk. Let's go. I am your leader. My name is Marcus. <laughs> Just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom. And decide who I wanted to be. <coughs> now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with, with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you! I'm with you! I'm with you! Holy shit. Then follow me! Oh my lord. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Send our message to the humans. Be pacifist or violent. Well, fucking pacifist. And I think I'm gonna start out right with that statue, because I was it's reading up on face. that. I was reading up on that. That's the leader of the android right there. Uh, we're gonna tag it and not destroy it, even though I probably should destroy it. Do it. There we go. Don't bug out on me now. There we go. My goodness. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. She said something about the screens. Let's go do that. Change it. Change it. Change it. Change it. Change it. Change it. Screen. Uh. Turn off. I don't want to hijack them. Bench. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Tag. Choose our. <gasps> That's so cool. I like that one. The square one. That's our LED. Swipe over. We're at 68%. We need 100%. What can I do? Some with the androids? Can I get them free? I hope that ain't violent. That ain't violent. Beautiful. Well, I mean, it is, but... We're literally in the fucking window. What about this? No androids allowed. How about the cars? Car. Uh, move on road. I'll help you. Yeah, don't upturn the bitch. That's violent.
Oh, that did a lot. Beautiful. Okay, what next? Oh, an android parking space? Turn it off. Uh, heck. Eighty-three percent. What about the gazebo? Marcus, violence is the only language humans understand. And I want them to understand, but I do not want to start a war. They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. Plant flag. Holy shit! This is epic as fucking balls. Let's go! I understand breaking them out was fucking violent, but I'm not gonna leave them there. Holy crap, dude. That's a very good thumbnail right there. What now? Oh, I can tag the car. We should probably do that. Uh, we have a dream. I think, therefore, I am. One planet, two races. One planet, two races. That's really good. One planet, two races. 100% pacifist. Oh, wait. I mean, we were already 100% pacifist. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. Here they come. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless I agree with that. Choice. And I agree with that, too. We're not killers. Holy shit. North. All right, what happened? North. They killed them. <gasps> they slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? Who's responsible for this? feel like some plot twist is about to come, dude. Whoever it is, it's the police. Is it Connor? They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Well, it wasn't Connor. Why are you handing me that? You don't have to do this. No. That's him! That's the guy! We're gonna spare him. He didn't know any better. We won't punish a crime with another crime. We're not gonna fucking kill him. He's just doing his job. But sure, did he have to fucking shoot them? No. I mean, that's what's going on in the real world. 
We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most oh, bullshit. Graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro android graffiti was Supportive. found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores. Yes. And they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the cyber life stores now according to our sources they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids this is an alarming situation could our machines now be turning against us have androids become a threat to our security is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the united states you know they're very realistic about this whole news report system like <clears throat> fucking um something could happen completely in real life that was totally unrelated and then the fucking news will twist it up and say that someone attacked someone that's not what happened we didn't attack anyone it's bullshit dude it's very realistic but god pisses me off anyway here we are with connor Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of demons. It was that guy. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Oh, shit. I'm deviant. Bro called me a glitch. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. It's her on the title screen. Okay. I totally forgot about that. Oh my lord. What in the I'll hell? I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. This Elijah... This is the guy that freaking gifted that Marcus Android to Cam um to Manfred, Carl Manfred. And why did I say it like that? This Marcus Android? I should have just said gifted Marcus to Carl. Cyberlife founder. Inventor of Ethereum and Biocomponent. Damn, son. Nice girl. It's not a girl. It's an android that looks like a girl. I know what it is, Connor. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nice place. Amanda! Amanda. She's dead? AI professor? Oh. AI graduate? Oh my god! Amanda was Kamsky's teacher! Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Uh, I did not mean to pick that up. Connor. I just broke How my rule. Feel? Indifferent. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. I didn't hear what they said. But, um... What uh, Hank Sometimes said. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Oh. Elijah, we'll see you now. 
Well, geez, took you long enough. What the hell is going Mr. on Kamsky? here? Just a moment, please. Bro, swimming in a blood pool. What is that? Statue of some sort. Hello, babies. They looked at me. They're checking me out. They're checking me out. Whoa, what the fuck? Giant space needle. Get information. Well, we're waiting on you, bud. Get out. Damn. Think I got all day? I mean, <clears throat> it's quite a pleasure to meet you, sir. You are my creator. Uh, such a pleasure to meet you, sir. I'm your biggest fan. Sorry, my glitch is taking a hold of my program. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. Hello. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Uh. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Um... War. If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kapsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Neutral. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. Okay, dude. A flower that will never wither. I'm not into all what that. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? <clears throat> it's up to you to answer that fascinating question. He's gonna have me shoot her. I ain't doing it. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're done here. Yeah. Right, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of more here, important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. I'm not just gonna or kill no fucking machine. Or a living being in 
endowed with free will. And besides, Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor, don't. And I'll tell you what you want to know. No. Besides, I feel like this guy, if I did it, he wouldn't tell me shit. He's one of them villain type people that won't tell you shit. chance to save humanity. Is it self a Oh, shut up. I'm, I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? This guy's the fi uh, founder. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? I wonder if he did this shit on purpose. Let's get out of here. He made the deviancy program on purpose. For By world way, domination. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. This guy created the deviancy program to try and fucking. Shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. Achieve That's world domination. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Aw, snap. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, <clears throat> got a lot done this episode. I'm reaching 60 minutes here, which is my limit. But um, I'm going to try my best and go about this differently. Um, like my tags that I use in my YouTube videos because I'm only getting little views. I'm just going to have to figure it out. But um, anyway, um, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe. Leave comments. Get this video to people out there. And not geography people, YouTube. Um, <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next one.